Today on a very special Chuckload of Comics, I'm sharing with you fellow YouTubers how to make your very own teleprompter using just a $9 picture frame and some foam core. Stick around, it's going to be a lot of fun. This is Chuckload of Comics. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Chuckload of Comics, a very special episode today. We're not doing our normal comic book reviews, we're not doing our movie talk, um, it's just kind of a how-to video on how you guys can make your very own teleprompter. If you're like me, or well, if you're watching this show, you're probably a YouTube creator, you're probably a video creator, and you share in the struggle of how hard it is to get through an entire script without messing up. Well, why not just read the script right into the camera using your very own teleprompter? So before I show you how I made this Pretty, pretty sweet little teleprompter. It's important to understand how the science of a teleprompter works. Essentially what it is, is you have a video source. In this case, we're using a uh, tablet, just a simple, uh, I'm using an Amazon Fire tablet to play some scrolling text. On top of that, there is a pane of glass. The pane of glass reflects the text and bounces it back to, to you, the viewer. And behind the glass, you put your camera. In this case, we're using a cell phone. So the camera shoots through the glass, does not pick up the reflection of the text at all, and it shoots you. So you can just stare directly at the glass, read the script while the camera's pointed directly at you. So it sounds a lot more complicated than it is. I'll break it down for you right now. Uh, just get yourself a tablet, iPad. Uh, this is an eight inch Amazon Fire tablet. Uh, download some teleprompter software. The stuff that I'm using is called Parrot. It's available obviously on the Google Play Store and the iTunes Store. Parrot teleprompter software works really, really great. You just copy and paste your text right into the app and it starts scrolling. It's super duper user friendly. It's really easy to use. So that sits flat in the front of your box. Camera sits behind it, just like that. Then your glass, um, again, picture frame. It's important to use uh, a glass picture frame and not plastic. Plastic will not work, it needs to be glass. I just went with an eight and a half by 11 picture frame. It's plenty big enough for our needs. And the glass just sits inside the box at a 45 degree angle. As you can see, hopefully from the camera that you're sitting behind, um, you can see the text reflecting onto you. The camera is shooting through the glass. You are just reading the text, looking directly at the camera. Really, really simple uh, technology and really easy to make. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the one that I made. You don't have to build a super fancy box. As long as you got glass sitting at a 45 degree angle, you get your text in the front, your camera in the back, that's all you need. To give you kind of a tour of the box that I made, I just made it out of some foam core. I made it the width of the glass, so 11 inches wide. Just some foam core, you can get at Michael's for super duper cheap. Got a little t-shirt in the back, as you can see the back is wide open. Why is the back wide open? So you can just set your camera right in the box, right? Makes perfect sense. Camera sits in the back. The uh, tablet just sits right in the front. I don't know if you can see this, but I've got the glass sitting in there at a 45 degree angle. The glass is just taped in there. It's going just like this. I leave enough space in the back for my camera to sit, right? And enough space in the front for the tablet to sit. Um, I went ahead and I used the frame of the picture frame to kind of give it a nice finished look, but obviously you don't have to do that. Again, you can make this out of a cereal box if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be some super fancy black foam core. As long as you got room for the tablet in the front, and space in space in the back for your phone to sit. Um, it's as simple as that, and the glass just stays in the middle. What else can I tell you guys about this? Um, not too much. Oh, it is very, very important that the inside be totally dark because when the camera's sitting in the back, you don't want it to pick up any of the reflection from the, from the camera side of the glass. So to solve that problem, it's really, really easy. Put the camera in and just cover the back up with a black t-shirt. If you're like me, you've got closets full of uh, black t-shirts and you just cover up the back. Looks so much better. Now, I'm just gonna set this guy up front. We'll wrap this up. And there you go. Hopefully you can see that uh, from your side. Camera sitting in the back of the box, teleprompter, software, tablet sitting in the front, and the glass is sitting at a 45 degree angle. Super duper easy. If you guys make one, sorry this video is running a little bit long, if you guys make one, leave us a comment, let us know what you think, let us know uh, if you like using them, let us know if you don't like using them. Let me know, because I'd really like to know what you guys think of this whole easy $9 teleprompter 
technology. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. See you guys next time on Chuckload of Comics. Please take a second to click that subscribe button. Join the Chuckload of Comics family. Every single Sunday, we come to you with nerd news, comic book reviews, movie talk, all the stuff happening in the world of fandom. We do it every single Sunday. So anyway, wrapping it up. Have a fantastic week. We'll see you here next time. <laughs>